After my recent test of this Fosi Audio BT20A Pro, I did have some people ask comments about, hey, what about this power supply or that one? For an example, what about this 480 watt power supply that's available on Amazon? It's variable, goes from zero to 48 volts, and it's supposed to do from zero to 10 amps. Supposed to have 10 amps of output, that makes it 480 watt power supply, versus this little extra brick you can get when they're in stock, which is a 48 volt five amp, which is only 240 watts, whereas this one is 480 watts. We're gonna try it today and see how this one performs at 12 volts, 24 volts, and also 48 volts, see how much power we get. And then we're gonna go back to this one and you might see something very interesting in this video and about how these two perform. So stick around and let's see how it works. All right, Fosi Audio BT20A Pro, we have it hooked up to the supposed 480 watt power supply, which is 48 volts up to 10 amps. Let's try the four ohm, actually let's try the eight ohm run first. Eight ohm run, 1% distortion at one kilohertz. And we got around 40 watts when we used the uh, big power brick before. Okay. So 46 and 49, you can see the current that we pulled total. So let's go back. Reset this. You can see we're pulling about 0.1, probably a little less uh, amp at idle. Let's try four ohm certified. We got 100 watts before using the 48 volt five amp power supply. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, that's interesting. So <laughs> this supposed 480 watt power supply is actually not putting out as much juice as the uh, other power brick that we got, the 48 volt five amp power supply. So that is interesting, interesting phenomenon. Now what I like about this one in particular is that I can split out the power so we can get the efficiency measurement and I'll do that for you here in a second. But um, yeah, the fact that it's really not as powerful as the power brick is kind of disheartening because people are buying these thinking they're getting more power out of them, but they're really not. What a bummer. Now we have the variable power supply set on 24 volts. We're gonna try the test at eight ohms and at four ohms certified, one kilohertz, just to see what kind of different we get. This is the lowest input voltage supposedly this amp will take. There you go. About 25 watts per channel, which is not horrible. 25 watts per channel is not bad for a mini amp. Let's try four ohms. Let's see what we get at four ohms. Start the track over, one kilohertz. All right, so right at about 40, 40 watts per channel. Again, using 24 volt DC input. And once again, just for kicks, I have turned the power supply down to 12 volts. Now this amp does not say it supports anything under 24 volts, but we're gonna try it just for the heck of it, because I know some of you would wanna know, I know I wanna know. So let's try eight ohms at 12 volts, one kilohertz. See if we get any power out of this amp at all. Apparently not. <laughs> so, Let's pause this. The light is on, but we're definitely not getting any output. I think that chip requires 24 volts to even turn on. So there you have it. it will not work with 12 volts, even though it appears that it's working because it appears to be on. Just to make sure this is not all a fluke, I did hook back up the 48 volt five amp power supply brick. Let's try eight ohms as well as four ohms. Eight ohm first, one kilohertz up to the 1% distortion on the amp. Should get around 40 watts, I think is what we got before. Oh no, we got a lot more than that. Wow. 95 and 93. That's right. So that, oh, that other power supply really sucks. Okay. 
Sorry, you guys are hearing me talk as I go along here. I forgot that it was 100 watts at eight ohms. And let's try four ohms. So definitely this power brick seems like it's the way to go for sure. Look at that. Definitely, definitely the power brick and not one of these, these quote unquote 480 watt power supplies. That is a joke. That thing does not put out is anywhere near the amount of amperage that it says it does. All right, friends, well, the proof is in the test. It is definitely this 480 watt power supply is nowhere near that. In fact, less than half. This is only a 240 watt power supply because it's 48 volt, five amps. But this one is way more powerful than this one. Now, unfortunately, this one's nice because it does have a variable adjustment here. So we can adjust the uh, voltage going out, but we set it at 48. It, this one literally did twice the output power. I'll show you that if you haven't seen it already. And um, yeah, this one is nowhere near 480 watts. It's too bad because having that adjustment is nice. So if you want one of these Fosi Audio BT20A Pros, I would recommend getting one of these power supplies when they're available, 48 volt, five amp. That's the one you want because that one's gonna give you the output that you, that this little amp deserves. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me at Wilson Audio Extras. Make sure you check a link in the video description, show the full video that I did on this amp, full review, all that stuff. This is just extra content. Hope you guys have a good one. Until next time, Big D, I'm out of here.